Hello everyone, my name is Axel, and I like to build stuff. A few months back, I made a 3D printed crossbow. And you guys seem to really enjoy it. However, in the comments, I asked for your guys' ideas. And there were a few that came up. 3D printed vacuum powered plane, did that. A 3D printed trebuchet, which I put off for a long time, until now. Like all my other projects, to start it, I did a little bit of research. And when I typed mini trebuchet into YouTube search bar, my heart sunk. I really don't want to copy something that someone else already did. Again. Well, a viewer requested it to me. And because I'm not Michael Reed, turbo. I'm gonna build it anyway. Before I build it though, let's analyze Tom's design and see what he did. In Tom's mini trebuchet design, he used a rubber band system instead of a gravity-based system. And that's cheating, you little British biscuit. He also made his more of a pew pew stick shape, and I don't really think YouTube will promote a small channel making medieval nerf blasters. So I made my trebuchet more of like a desktop toy. Also, for my main power source, I'm using gravity and M5 screws. Again, I am not cheating. Also, I made it super easy to print and super easy to assemble, as the only non-3D printed part are the 608 bearings themselves. Okay, I know only about 30% of you guys are actually watching, so if you're still here, I'd like to thank you very much, as you make these videos very possible. Also, please consider subscribing, as only 9.2% of you guys are actually subscribed, and it'd mean the world to me if we can get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Anyway, with that, here's a 20 second build montage. And there you have it, it's fully assembled. Let's test it. All right, so I'm out here with the trebuchet. I uh, just finished assembling it. As you can tell, I did change the sling design a little bit, so then it's more of like a cup. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to test launching three different things. A 3D printed plastic projectile, some M5 nuts, and some old permanent magnets I found on my fridge. Let's see how good this trebuchet really is. All right, trebuchet is locked and loaded. Here we go, three, two, one, launch. Okay, so the projectile stayed in the pouch. It's not really what's supposed to happen. Three, two, one. Two, one. <laughs> that did not launch very far, did it? Time to up the mass to the nuts. There you go. That's a lot more balanced. I don't know if these six bolts will be able to lift it, but here we go. Three, two, one. Here you go. Three, two, one. Handheld. No. Okay, so the sling is not letting things go, so let's try and widen it. Here you go. Three, two, one. Launch. I guess for the sake of uh, the project, Try with the magnets. Three, two, one. Because I'm not cheating, I can't use really anything heavier than this 3D printed projectile. So, I mean, smaller things don't perform nearly as well as larger things, like say engines or chronoplons. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. I, I still don't know why. It isn't releasing properly. I've it was releasing just fine on the desk, and then when I bring it out here, it doesn't work at all. We didn't even get to knock down a single bottle, so it's time to conclude this project. So, uh, yeah, that no. Uh, just editing that clip, and uh, I have the trebuchet right here on my desk. And I was just messing around. So, I was just playing with the trebuchet, thinking of how I was gonna end this project, and then I picked up the small washer, stainless steel washer, and let me just show you what happens. 
I put it in there. See that? It <laughs> it works. It can throw things. But of course, because it is small, because it uh, doesn't have a lot of potential energy in the first place, it can't really throw very far or very heavy objects. Now I know this project is pretty disappointing in the fact that the trebuchet didn't work that well. However, to end on a good note and to explain while I'm filming at the beach, I would just like to take you back four weeks to when I walked into this little pharmacy. And there you have it, I am finally fully vaccinated. And I know I forgot my goggles, but there we go. We're immune, baby. Oh yeah. And on that good note, it is sadly time to end. I would like to thank Opter Low very much for suggesting this video idea. If you guys want your ideas featured in a future video, make sure to hit that like button and also comment your idea down below. The most liked comment will be selected for a future video project. And with that, it is sadly time to end this video. I've kind of enjoyed it, even though it was kind of a failure. Please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.